Hello, 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 everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, or whenever you're watching this video. My name is Sudamani. I'm the host of Expert Interviews Show. This is season five, episode three. On this show, I bring in experts who are impacting the community in their own way by bringing about changes to help the business owners to outthink, outperform, and outlast their previous self and competitors alike. On this channel, I also provide digital marketing tips, business growth tips, and technology, business technology tips to grow your business, to thrive in any eco economy, to achieve your financial and time freedom. Today, I have a wonderful expert who is changing the lives of women by imparting undeniable confidence so that these women kick their limiting beliefs, imposter syndrome, or anything that is holding them back to realize their potential. We all come to this world um, with a potential, okay? We don't realize that, we don't implement that. That's, that's where we are lacking. We feel that we are not enough. So this expert, she's just, making revolution, I would say. Uh, maybe this is a little bit ex exaggeration, but I, I feel that she is um, revolutionizing women's life. Before I welcome Pankita, she's the expert, as you might have known already. Um, let me tell you a little bit about her. I have worked with her. Most of the time, I bring in experts 90, 99%, 95% of the time, I do bring in experts on this show who I've worked previously. So I know when I am, um, I, 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 I am confident that they are making that change what they are um, exposing them to in, in a way. So Pankita is a confidence coach. She helps women entrepreneurs build their ultimate self-confidence by overcoming their self-limited beliefs, self-doubts, and also the procrastination. She, she's got a great story about that. And I approached her because I was procrastinating, creating, uh, rechanging my website or uh, tweaking my websites. So she was born and brought up in India and moved to London in 2005. And she moved from software development to life coaching in the year 2016 after going through some life-changing events in her life. She will share that story. Um, that's really a mind-blowing one. Um, and she is certified master life coach, success coach, and an NLP practitioner. Welcome, Pankita. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, thank you're you so very, much. For very toned down? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm waiting to like uh, bring me in on the screen, actually. <laughs> thank you so much, Sudha, actually, uh, for uh, inviting me. And I'm so excited <laughs> to share all the tips <laughs> to build the self-confidence. Yeah, no, no problem at all. So tell us a um, little bit about yourself. What made you to become a life coach? And you mentioned you've moved from self, um, so software development to life coaching. Um, I would say life self-development, that would be great. <laughs> yes. So how did you how did you end up becoming a life coach? Uh, you already shared my story. And followed that uh, in 2016, actually, that was a like, life-changing year for me. Oh. And uh, yeah, in 2016, I have a small baby. And after, you can say the depression, <laughs> <it> was <laughs> severe depression. But I don't want to, I didn't want to stay in the same, same place. Because even, actually, I was in, in London. If I were in India, I can call anyone. My family, my relatives, my friends. But that I was here. No one was with me. I yes. have a little kid with me. She is completely dependent on me. My partner was not supporting me. So it oh. was... Uh, That's always the case. They've got their own thing going on, yes. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, go on, and, go on. Yeah. And, but like 
that was the depression was like uh, it's like never ending situation for me i said how oh, goodness like when this will end <laughs> don't we all and ask that oh like, <laughs> uh, yeah and like it is not, uh, goodness like it is not never ending situation uh, like uh, i couldn't tell my uh, gp about it even though like was scenario they can give me some medication yeah right and but like did the medication like didn't help me at, at all because something something going inside me which is like i was thinking like why i am here why i am i am doing this and i cannot end my life because one little soul was uh, depend on me yeah and uh, i i am always like passionate about life and that uh, the depression always like um, took me completely down yes that's that's what happens isn't it especially indian um you, you're from india you you said yeah. so especially indian i i'm from india as well especially indian women who when they come no no only women in general i i should know but especially when we come here number one we don't know what all the things which are available and number two we don't want to talk about it because it, it's it, it kind of like they put label on you and say oh she's just lost it um which is even more depressing than <laughs> depression itself uh, so it is harder when when you are going through this type of situation so how did you overcome that what what did you do yeah that's a great question you asked suda why <laughs> <laughs> yeah so first first like um, first have clarity have clarity so i didn't know what is going on with me until i wrote down everything first why me first of all everyone ask why me yeah <laughs> you know, most of the time why me but then this time i ask a different question yes what is that i want from my life mm. then that's okay. a powerful question isn't it what is that i want from my life why now yes and with the deadline like if i want to change my life what are the options i have mm so we can say that it's have clarity yes yes so i got that, that is the very first question you need to have that you need to ask right questions that is a, i i take that is a t- very first step i would say ask the right questions you get yes. the right answers yeah go on go on yeah so i wrote down everything and like okay what are the options first what i want from my life if i want something better from myself or from life then i need to change myself and if i want to change myself then what options do i have yes what options do i not have actually have and not have so that like you know you can see the very clear picture yes then i then the next step is determination discipline mm. because you need, to, you need to make that decision so, uh, yeah. uh, you, you need to make that decision of like okay i don't like where i am i want to go somewhere so that means i need to move my backside to move there <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> not sit yes. in the same position and start complaining many people do that don't they they yeah. sit in the same place and they complain about it this is a very unique thing i i've got to share this with you two couple yes. of days ago um w- one of my clients said to said to me that i asked her this question why we are making our their life easier why are they not wanting this and she said to me this phrase and i was like i was blown away oh my god don't we all do this what that is is they complain about the workload mm-hmm. but they don't let the workload go mm-hmm. we all do that don't we we carry so much weight and we complain yeah. about it mm-hmm. repeatedly as if someone will hear and when someone hears it we don't want to let that go because that has become our story that's become our yes. safety net yes yes and this is the main thing actually most of the time we say so many stories to ourselves and we yes. live in that stories yes we need to identify is the story is empowering or disempowering yes 
And I, I, that's another good, good question to ask, isn't it? Is my yeah. story empowering me or disempowering yeah. me? Yeah. If it's disempowering you, you've got to let that go. Yes, yes. And then again, letting go is not easy. Oh, no. Tell me about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want to live in that story again and again and again. And sometimes it's a part of life. They, they want, because that story made them a victim, right? So yeah. they don't want to take that responsibility Yes. of, uh, yeah, I've got the clarity that I am telling the wrong stories. I'm asking the wrong question uh, and I'm getting the wrong answers. But I don't want to take the responsibility. Yeah. It is easier to point easy, fingers. Easy. Yes, point fingers. And it's easy to hide behind <laughs> the curtains. Yeah, they don't even realize that their three fingers are pointing yeah. towards. Yes, them. yes. So they're three times more responsible. I've got to be three yeah. times more responsible. And no one wants to take responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah. you wrote down all your problems. You, you started asking the right question, I think. That, that's what's the right first step. And then you wrote down all your problems what or what what you're going through and then you made a determination like I've got a small son I've got to or small kid I don't even know what with a son or a daughter do you have son, son or a daughter son, son, son. son oh there you go so son um, and I he, he's totally dependent on me I have got to take the responsibility to not only correct my life so that I can look after him and also support my partner in the journey, <laughs> whether yeah, he supports me or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a, as a woman, like, you know, we have to play so many roles at the same time. And in yes. all the roles, we forget ourselves. And when yeah. we look after ourselves, is sometimes say it's a self-care and people judge us. And we yeah. are thinking, or we are afraid of judgment. Yes. And we think like, oh, self-care is, uh, is not necessary. But nowadays, self-care is very necessary. If you are strong enough, then you can change the world. Yes, that's, uh, that, that's another story, isn't it? Like, put your mask first before you help other people put their mask. Um, and yeah. the, the safety measure. So that is self-safety. Um, yeah. The self-care is like safety for yourself, security for yourself, so that you can be more stronger. So after, after that, what did you do? Oh, yes. <laughs> I Googled something like, okay, I want to change something with myself, like, because otherwise I will be the role model with my kids, to my kids. Yeah, they are unconsciously, they are watching me what mom is doing. Yes. So I Googled uh, so many things and I end up with, uh, uh, end up with uh, watching uh, one of the motivation video Jay Shetty actually that time mm -hmm. uh, Jay Shetty and I keep kept following him for some time yes and yes. then uh, well there's another situation I couldn't afford him I had okay. no money <laughs> I had no money so yeah. that time I have no other option but to go with the do it yourself project yes that's true yeah, so I think many, many of us, even if we have money, yes, we want to try it out first. Yes. We want to try yeah. it out whether when you watch these YouTube videos and stuff, you get these tips and we, we start uh, trialing, trialing that. Oh, I can't afford it. I can't tell my um, partner. Uh, I can't justify um the spend and all of that you start thinking and then you say you don't have money but then you start working on those steps so what are the things you like, want yeah but even though like if you have money but before that you need to be something do something oh sorry yes you need to be something do something and then you have something Yes. What yes. will people like put the conditions that like, let me have something first, then I will do something, then I will become something. Yeah. So what I did is like, I determined, like I made the decision, I will make the best of my life. I will not let my uh, children be the victim of yeah. my depression. Wow. That is a powerful statement. 
I won't let my children become the victim. That is many women unknowingly make yeah. their kids the victim. Oh my God, that's very powerful. Yes, go on. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So first, like I I was determined and rather than like, you know, taking the big step, I believe in small baby step so that I know that time I didn't have any self-confidence. I can say zero self-confidence because yeah. as an introvert person, I, I'm introvert person. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like, it is, it is not easy to go and ask for support, go and ask for help, any help. So yeah. that time, yes, I made the decision based on whatever I know that time. Mm. And I, this time I think, oh, if I ask, I was there that time with this much knowledge, I could have the better decisions. Yeah. But let's go back to that story. I determined, I, I believe in myself that yes, I will become something and I will not let my children victim. Mm. And I took baby step, watching the YouTube videos, take some motivation, meditation, little exercise, but mm -hmm. consistency, I can say consistency. But at some point I said, okay, uh, is everything is about me. How about the world? If I mm -hmm. want to impact the world, yeah. because there are yeah. so many other women out there yeah. who has the same journey as me. Mm. They are not out for help or support. Mm. How about some women, they have the children, but they are not knowing. They don't know what to do. Yeah. They are lack of self-confidence. Maybe they are victims and want to be victims. And I'm saying you always have a choice. Yes, that's true. We always have the choice. It is, uh, it is in our, we need to take that accountability of um, taking the action to have choose the right choice but you you have as you said before asking the right questions so it is also about taking the right decisions taking the right making the right choices mm. of yes. how i will change myself brilliant mm. so you are saying from what i'm gathering you're saying you need to have the clarity first of where you are. That's, I mean, clarity doesn't come after these exercises. Clarity has to come before you write down what your problems are, what you're going through and all of that. And then you have that confidence, you, or at least you lack that confidence, but you were determined. <laughs> to, yes. But to, the clarity, to... clarity comes uh, like with clarity. Actually, clarity is a very big topic, and uh, there are yeah, two of types course. of clarity: like conscious level and unconscious level. Uh... Cons conscious level is all the decisions we are making, mm. like what results I want from my life. Uh, for that result, what. Uh, actions I should uh, should I have to take that's a conscious yeah. awareness right but yeah. unconsciously if I'm telling myself a negative story or ne if I have the negative limiting beliefs oh I'm not good enough oh I can't have it all what will happen because the conscious is like five percent yes five percent decision and the unconscious is like 95 percent yes. and so yes. every day even I was fighting five percent decision with against 95% unconscious uh, behaviors and negative self-talk. So what, what are those unconscious behaviors? Like for example, you want to lose weight, mm -hmm. right? You go to gym, you go to gym, but there you make some friends and you keep talking or chatting for one hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Uh, again, you want to like, you know, going on the healthy diet. Yeah. But at some point or by 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, you think, oh, goodness, let me have some tea, Indian tea with so much sugar in it. Yeah. Or go for like, okay, five, four day, like a healthy diet, eating salads and all that. But on the six or seven days, you go to the restaurant and have all the junk food. 
pizza, pasta, burgers, yeah. everything. <laughs> you can't raise it all at all. Yeah. And after coming back home and you said, oh, goodness, what I have done. Yeah. And then you feel guilty, right? So yes, you feel just, guilty. Um, I, I remember you saying once, like, once you make a decision, we should not go back and judge that decision. That also makes that guilty conscious makes it yes. even more almost justifying our wrongs, yes. voice, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So, oh yeah, I can't wait because I can't control myself or mm -hmm. I, I am not good enough and I uh, I don't have self-control um, to not go to a restaurant. All these stories come back again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where you're coming from, the 95% are all these junk stories which we can. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> in that situation, you go one step ahead, two step back, one step ahead, two step back. Uh, two steps is a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hundred <laughs> steps back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these are the things, right? Yeah. So you need to see again, like it's awareness. You need to be mindful, like what story you are telling yourself. Yes. And more, and sometimes you even don't know because it's autopilot. Yeah. It's completely autopilot. And sometimes so you give don't us now. Uh, now give us. Um, just summarize what yep. the five tips are, like five things which we need to do um, in order for us to go move forward, even if we don't have money uh, yep. to hire a life coach or hire a coach like you. <laughs> You're becoming <laughs> like uh, uh, Jay Shetty nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I will be ruining my career then I, if I share all the tips over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so but as he asked and i don't mind i don't hold myself back because there are so many women out uh, women out there who is watching yeah. right now they need our help, help and as a women like we are here to support each other yes that's where we make the world better okay so here the five tips first believe in yourself yes this is that the first, is the first thing yeah if you don't believe in yourself then no one will yeah whatever your decision you make you need to support yourself first you need yes. to stand for yourself yes and remove that false mask you don't need that yeah be authentic yeah second is uh, have the right mindset and mm. here is the, as i uh, said earlier clarity like ask the right question, not down everything. Uh, you know the pay, uh, power of pen and paper. Yes. Yes. So when, when you, you write something down, it kind of like it becomes a brain dump, isn't it? Whatever yes. dump is in our brain comes on the paper, and then you see, is that all? Oh my God, that's not me. <laughs> that's yes. when you make that decision. That's not me. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning, it was like, it is like uh, very hard, but once you like start journaling. Then journaling, or I can say the clarity or everyday gratitude, whatever, whatever, like start using pen and paper. Yes. And here, and don't just write, go back and read. Mm. Go back and read. This is why you can see the pattern. Yes. And have the right mindset. When you see that, like, okay, this is the negative things, I need to change it. Then again, then you need to make a decision. Yeah. And don't yeah. think like a, the decision will be right or wrong. Don't judge yourself. Because yes. this is your your life, your decision. No yes. one has, you don't owe any explanation to anyone. Yes. Yeah. We all explain ourselves, don't we? Like it's, a, yes. oh, I did this because of that and this and justification. It's in your hand. Mm. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Yep. So go yes. on. <laughs> yes. So third one is find support find support go mm -hmm. ask for help yes yes that because is that's always... another thing of lack of confidence isn't it you yes. don't know what they will say you you don't yeah. know whether you're you confident exactly. enough mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. no but like uh, that confidence and it goes with the ego as well mm. ego always comes in yes 
that oh i can't i can't go and ask for help that's true that that's that's been always my fault uh, i can't go and ask help yes that's true if you, oh my god yeah so mm. but if you ask you will be surprised how many people out there who can offer the help help yes yeah. yes so again don't go for do it yourself project <laughs> <laughs> it takes that, this is the motto of this expert interview uh, stories like when when i run the intro mm -hmm. this is this is what it is like learn from other people's experience yeah. so that you cut the journey otherwise you your life whole life you're learning you're learning and you won't have time to implement and grow that's why if we feel so dejected that we we are not growing because we are learning all the time and we don't have time to implement that okay so what is the last one okay take <laughs> actions and be consistent yes take actions no matter how big or small mm -hmm. if you are consistent with it you will see the result eventually yes what if like you you join the gym today you go for two days and third day you are saying no i don't want to go yeah so how will you lose the weight yes so i've done that i paid <laughs> gym for a whole year all i went is one month <laughs> <laughs> this is like you know every year like people are like making so much so many resolutions and that's why like you know gym and all, all the uh, good resolution like the areas the gym are full for in J month of january but from the february onwards they are back to their like normal one like they yes, reduce yes. the membership and all that so this is yeah. why like you know people take actions but they are not consistent with it Mm. that's that happens all the time in social media as well people keep saying oh i don't get the organic traffic organic traffic the organic traffic comes from the consistent uh, consistency of the post because yeah. that is how algorithms are written oh my god that's that's mind blowing so how do people get in touch with you do you have any freebies for our audience Oh yes, yes. <laughs> you I all love freebies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have my ebook uh, how to become unstoppable. Oh, brilliant. Yes, and um, I will be sharing with you and they can go on my Facebook uh, Facebook account and uh, it's the first post actually so they can download from there. Okay. So please do send me the uh, right link to the post so that I can put it in the description below. So people you know now what pankita does and uh, these these tips write it down when when you write something down that is that i think that is my takeaway today i do write uh, things down as well but write it down and ask the right questions as well like asking the right question gets you the right answers no point in uh, thinking okay this is the answer they will give me for the wrong question they're not people are wired uh, to answer the question you ask them so that makes one second so that, uh, let me ask you one uh, sorry sorry to interrupt you i hope you are the, you haven't <laughs> no, uh, go for it. the recording uh, this is how i help my uh, like uh, i help my clients actually because most of the time people don't have right questions to ask and they yes. do not see their own blind spots Yes. yes that is so more more i think that's where the coach comes in place they ask the right questions so when they ask the right question your brain kicks in and gives the answer to those questions isn't it so yeah. that way people know oh yeah that's right oh i wish you someone had asked that question sometimes we ourselves know those questions but we don't ask them oh that's brilliant yes that is why we do, we do need coach and not go on a self development exploration by watching the youtube videos <laughs> this is again i am doing the youtube video um i i want you guys to watch that video and also take the action 
by either go to Pankita or to someone else who is a life coach who who can give you that who can give you the shortcut. Um, in life, sometimes we do need in not in the all situation we need shortcuts, but in some situation we do need to shorten that journey so that we reach our destination on time. Um, that that matters. It doesn't matter like, oh yeah, I've been learning for 95 years at the deathbed. I'm thinking I wish I had hired a life coach <laughs> so that I've learned these the lessons at the age of 25 or at the age of 35 uh, so that I am moving forward. I don't have those regrets. So that is exactly what these expert sh um, shows are all about. Learning from the experience of others so that we can shorten that um, journey of ours and achieve our destination or achieve our goals a lot quicker. So if you like this type of content in, um, and you want more tips and you're a business owner, digital marketing tips or technology tips or even business growth tips, please do subscribe to my channel. I would love you to have you and please do comment below. What do you think? Or do you have any other tips which you have experienced? Do you have any other stories similar to Pankita's? Please do share those stories so that we know um, how everyone is coping up with their, um, with their journey, how, how they are moving beyond, how they are getting out of the comfort zone, how they are uh, following up with the, with the advices which has been given to them. So that is all for um, this week. Thank you very much for watching till the end. And I really appreciate your um, time and also the energy. Please comment below. And if someone else is going to benefit from this video, please do share this video with them because sharing is caring, okay? We can't always help others in the way we would like it to. Just by showing them the right path can change their life. And they might remember, oh, this person sent me this video. Isn't she wonderful? Or isn't he wonderful? Uh, in, in many situations, aren't they wonderful is also there. Thank you very much. Until I see you, be good, be happy, and be responsible. Thank you very much. And see you all in the next week and the next episode.